Okay, here's an exciting night. First time I've got both axes on the telescope and moving. We definitely don't have the drive ratio set up or anything yet in the firmware, but just so you guys know, I've got a NEMA 17, I think this is a 0.9 amp motor. I've got a 100 to 1 planetary gear reduction here. This is the PLE series, so this is the precision gearbox. And then my coupling to this axis is... Uh, uh, I don't even know the gear ratio I have on here right now, but uh, probably about a 7 to 1 or 10 to 1 reduction, somewhere in that range. So this axis total about 700 to 1 or about a 1,000 to 1 gear reduction. But let's see how this guy works. So I'll also mention that on my 12-inch dob here, I am nowhere close to balanced on the optical tube. So I've got a, a finder, a telrad, I've got my dust cover on the top, so... It's definitely unstable at the moment. I need to do a good job balancing it first, but uh, here we go. So I've got the smart hand controller set up. Let's just go to half of the max speed. There we go. So that's, uh, let's see what we have for the max speed here. Definitely looks like, looks like it's handling it. I think I'm going to end up beefing up this bracket. Looks like there is a good amount of torque going through there. But the good news here is it's working. Now, I'm going to switch over to the other axis. Alright, the lighting's horrible. Should get better. Um, I definitely have way too much gear reduction on this axis right now. I've got the 100 to 1 gearbox, but I'm just going to move this guy. Let's move it this way to get out of the light. So I've got 100 to 1, and then I think I'm somewhere around 25 to 1 on my rubber O-rings touching the Lazy Susan bearing. So I've got about a 2,500 to 1 reduction. So this is a super slow axis. I need to change my firmware to get this guy set up. But the good news is it works. This axis should require even less torque than the altitude axis. I see some movement. Let's zoom in on this motor. I see some movement down here. So that's not going to be ideal. Let's go the other direction and check for lash. Uh, it's not horrible. We'll see if I have enough stiffness to make this setup work. And if I can get enough accuracy out of this Lazy Susan axis. I may still have to switch this over to belt drive.